property. Well, if you're asking me uh, if I like living back at the old homestead, the answer is a definite and emphatic yes, I do. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I was wondering how everything was working out over there. Oh, it's great. I get, uh, first of all, to keep the promise I made my father. I'm keeping an eye on Rose. Not that she needs any looking after. You know. Yeah, she does a good job over there at the diner. Yeah, she does, and she really loves it. Yeah, I'm glad to hear everybody's so happy. Well, we're doing all right there. You know, the uh, way things have worked out, I get to keep an eye on Heather. Hi, Amy. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of nice being back in the area of all my childhood memories and visiting some of my old haunts. Not everybody can say that. Oh, that's great. I really dig it. And when the waterfront company gets to be a bit boring, I go over and look up Rick. His clinic's right across the way. That's still neat. Yeah, I think so. Now that I'm working with Lee Baldwin, what more could a man want? Well, you always told me that working for Lee is pretty demanding. Yeah, but I'm learning a lot. Uh, the man is a stickler for detail. Well, no, he's not. He's a perfectionist. And he wins 99 times out of 100. So with a record like that, how can anybody fault him? That's probably why he's got the best law practice in town, huh? I'd say that. Uh, he called me the second to get his x rays, all right? Speak of the devil. Joe. Yeah, I was just talking about you. I, uh, I talked to you. Well, I was something good because I don't hear anything bad. I've had my share of problems these days. I've had a bad day, huh? Yeah, very hectic. That power shortage yesterday really put us behind. Amy, second floor has been waiting for the night admission list. You were supposed to have it to him some time ago. I forgot. I'm forgot. sorry. Don't I'm say sorry. you're sorry. Just get it up to him, all right? I'll go now. Thank you. Do you have a minute? Well, one, that's about it. Well, I did just take a minute. Excuse me for a second. Yeah. And just mentioned something to me that I, it's been driving me crazy for a little bit of time. But it suddenly dawned on me I've never mentioned it to you. Mentioned what? If Heather did kill Diana, where did she get the gun? Joe, I never stopped to think about that. I... It's, it's been on my mind, but I thought it would just suddenly come clean in the wash with all the rest of it. More importantly, when did she get the gun? Do you have any ideas? I always thought. At the sanitarium, that would make... No, there's no way. Where would she get? I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh, well, it had to be Port Charles. Maybe when she came home for Christmas. Joe. Dear Lord, the hall closet. Bless me. Bless me. I'm over right now. Once I would not have this problem every evening. Jeez, you'd think I'd be a grown up person right now, but oh no, gotta watch TV until three o'clock in the morning. That's very smart. <sighs> I'm late. Leslie? Joe. May I come in? Oh, uh, sure, sure. I was just surprised to see you. You know, I'm a little bit surprised to see you, too. Why? I live here. Well, I, I thought you'd be at work. I thought. Mrs. Grant would be here. Oh, no, she's out doing errands. I didn't have any appointments this morning, so I was going to stay home and get all kinds of things done. So I slept late. I'm glad you're here. So am I. What may I do for you? A favor? Sure. What? Do you remember the gun that Rick had? Is it still in the box in the hall closet? Rick's gun? Yes, is it still there? Why? Does he want it? No. Well, then why are you... I'm playing out a hunch. About what? Uh, the best way to help you understand is to say if Heather is to be considered a suspect in the murder of Diana Taylor where and when did she get the gun? Heather with Rick's gun? It was in that box in the hall closet when Heather was here visiting over the Christmas holidays. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think we even talked about it once. And Heather was here? You think Heather... I do. It's gone. Sure is. The prison hospital did everything they could. It's a good thing for those two that the uh, prison doctor did call this in when he did. Yeah, absolutely right. What do you want us to do? Point EKGs in both the patients. According to the report, the poison was given to them in the uh, coffee. It's a combination of arsenic and digitalis. Lethal. Yeah, very. Have they had uh, dimacaprol? Well, we'll give them that on IV right now. Mm -hmm. The prison hospital has gotten rid of the poison and symptoms will last a couple more days, but it's the rhythm of the heartbeat. That's what we're going to have to watch. I'll on. take watch care of that. Carefully. Good. Uh, Bobby, why don't you help? Georgie, can I see you outside, please? Right. 
tell you, I don't want this hospital turned into a three-ring circus. It's bad enough we're going to have the police here, and there will be an officer outside of that door day and night. Try to not let anyone unauthorized anywhere near CIC. Oh, I'll take care of it. But I know you will. We don't want any curiosity seekers or anyone else near those two men. Right, and I, uh, I've assigned Bobby to uh, look after the two men. She knows Hutch, of course. So when he regains consciousness, he'll see someone he knows. That's a good idea. Mm. Take care of this twisted knee later. Twisted knee? Well, according to the report, evidently when the poison hit him, it caused him to twist his knee. But we'll take care of that in therapy in a few days. Hi, Amy. Hi. You got any messages for me? Yep, I got quite a few, actually. Oh, good. Right here, and Dr. Gonzalez called twice. Oh, he did? Yes. Uh, yes, he's wondering when I'm going to get there, that's all. Let's see, well, I'm going can I yeah. see you for a minute? Sure. What's the matter? Hutch is here at the hospital. He's here? What he's is he here. doing here? He was poisoned, along with another inmate. Poisoned? You're kidding. Uh, oh, I believe it. I'll tell you, his days were numbered the minute he entered that prison. How is he? Well, he's holding his own, but he's not out of danger. He has to be walk watched continuously. I thought you might want to call Laura. Okay, I'll call her right now. Okay. Has Hutch got a chance? We're doing everything we can, Joe. What happened at the house? We found the box. The gun was missing. Well, then Heather could have taken it. She could have taken it and taken it back to the sanitarium after she left after the holidays. That is a distinct possibility. Hi, Laura. Hi, Amy. Well, you haven't been around much lately. Where have you been? Who's that lady with you? What do you think? Well, I think considering his history of heart surgery, he's doing very well. I agree. I think he's very lucky that they got him here so fast. Uh, prison doctor saved his life. Mm hmm Cat got your tongue? Hello, Laura. Hi, Georgia. What can I do for you? Uh, well, you see, I was kind of, uh, wondering, uh... Amy, I'm sure you have things to do. Well, I was, I was... Well, then do them, please. Now, what you have in mind? <laughs> Thank you, Georgia. Well... Amy has a habit of putting her nose in where it doesn't belong. If she'd pay as much attention to nursing as she does to other people's business, well... <laughs> I know. I'd like to see my mother. Matricular premature heartbeats begin to stabilize. Mm -hmm, yeah, I noticed. It looks very good. Yes, but he's not responding. Not as well as Toby. No, Toby looks like he's starting to come around. Yeah. Well, that just means that Hutch won't be far behind. Well, let's hope that's what the case is, yes. The arrhythmia should last another couple of days, though, don't you think? Yeah, and then I would think within two or three weeks, if they continue as Toby is, back to normal again. Yeah, but I wonder. My mother is here, isn't she? Yes, she's in CICU with your father. Oh, uh, do you think she's going to be there very long? I can't be sure, but it shouldn't be too much longer. Okay. I wonder what's going to happen when they're well enough to be released. I'll be sent back to prison. Oh, terrific. You begin to wonder just what kind of security they have in there. It is a maximum security prison. They have guards. They know he's a marked man. You would think under a controlled environment like that, that they would have been able to protect him. What kind of prison is it? Well, evidently not the best. Mm. It'd probably be safer here with round-the-clock guards and all. What's going to happen when they do send them back? Leslie, I wish I could answer that. I just can't. It's very depressing as a doctor to make someone well, cure them, release them, and send them back so they get, get poisoned again. Leslie, we can't control that. All we can do is try to get him well here. I know. Imagine how he's going to feel about going back there. Would you like to wait in the lounge? Uh, yeah, I think I will. I'll tell you here as soon as I see her. All right, thanks, Georgia. All right. So your mom and dad are both doctors, huh? Yep. You aren't going to follow in their footsteps? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, well, you probably have your hands full trying to track Luke. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I'll tell you something, honey. You're very lucky. You've got yourself quite a guide there. <laughs> Thank you. He's got a lot of swashbuckling adventure in him. That's what I love. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish that he were a little bit more pipe and slippers, you nah, know? I don't believe that for a minute, honey. But there's one thing you have to remember. 
Don't try to put a leash on him. I mean, he needs room. Tell me about it. His kind, I know they've caused you trouble and things like that, but when you're in love and you have disappointments and heartaches, Luke's worth it. After all, he wasn't stamped out by some cookie cutter. Oh, well, that's for sure. He's one of a kind, yeah. all right. You know something, honey? That reminds me of a song. What song? Oh, it's a song that's long before your time, but there's two lines I'd like for you to remember. What are they? I'm not known as a golden throat, but I'll try. Okay. Let's see. A good man is hard to find. You'll always get the other kind. Oh, now, don't <laughs> laugh. All I'm trying to say, baby, is this. If Luke is the right person for you, and I know he must be, you got to treat him good. You know why? why? Because it's true. You can't live happily forever after. Thanks. I'm so glad you're here. Hi. I've been calling you. I've been trying to reach you. Why? What's up? Uh, I've got news for you. What is it? Um, Hutch is here. They brought him in. The prognosis is good. Here? Well, what's happened to him? Um, he and another prisoner were poisoned. Poisoned? Yeah, the prison doctor really saved their lives. They brought them here because we're better equipped to deal with that sort of problem. How could that have happened? I mean, they were supposed to protect Hutch. I know, I know. But they knew that he was in danger. They knew that something like that was going to happen. I mean, what's the matter with them? Are those officials totally incompetent or what? Well, or are they just as crooked as the cons that they're supposed to be? Laura, crooked? I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Well, how was he poisoned? I was told it was a combination of arsenic and digitalis in the coffee. Oh. A combination like that, it could... It could kill a horse. He's lucky to be alive. Well, how is he now? Is he going to come through this... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's okay. It's just going to take some time for him to recuperate fully, that's all. Can I see him? No, no, nobody can see either one of them. They're both unconscious. Is that a friend of yours? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Mother. It's just that uh, I have the news about Hutch. Mother, this is Mrs. O'Reilly. This is my mother, Dr. Leslie Weber. Well, how hi, you? Dr. Weber. How are you? Have we met? Oh, heck no, I don't think so, because if I had, I'd remembered you. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sure, yes, I would have. Uh, you know something? Oh, Your sorry. daughter is beautiful. Yes. Just a beautiful yes, girl. thank you. <laughs> um, could I just impose on you for a minute? I have to talk to her just a minute long. You know, family. Oh, that's Jake. <laughs> Jake who? Jake, Jake who? That's good. Oh, oh Jake. Th that means it's all right with me. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I'll see you later then, okay? I've heard that, yes. Come and talk to me, my child. All right. Okay, where have you been? Um, I've been here waiting for you. No, 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 I don't mean now. I mean earlier. I tried to call you a half a dozen times. You weren't home. Where were you? I've been real busy. Busy. That's all. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? It's been plenty. Uh -huh. Why are we being a little bit mysterious? I'm, I'm not trying to be mysterious, Mother. Um, please, you've got to listen to me. I've got something very important that I have to tell you. Oh, goody. What? What I'm going to say, it may strike you as, as being a, a bit strange. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Try me. Just try me and see how really well I react. Please. Try to understand. Just as soon as you tell me something. Mother, it's just that this is going to come as a big surprise to you. I think the only surprise is if I'm going to hear anything here. Fine, fine. You can't see Tony Castle anymore. What? You can't. Mother, he's dangerous. He is a dangerous man. You should not be mixed up with him. You're not really serious. I you? am serious. I've never been more serious in my life. Why are you saying this? I can't explain everything. I, I tell you, I know that he's, uh, he's an international wheeler dealer. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's involved with the Quartermains, okay? In some, in some very bad things. He's involved with the Quartermains? The Quartermains, you know, and the way they've been acting lately and, and the things that they're mixed up in. That's why I left my job, Mother. Wait, 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 wait. Who has been telling you these things about Tony? Luke. Luke. And I'm just supposed to take Luke's word for this. Mother, just because you don't like Luke is no reason to I have to told you six million times I do not dislike Luke. I don't know Luke. 
I don't think we should talk about this right now. I think we should. Why? Because I am trying to warn you about a man who's very dangerous. But you won't tell me why. You won't tell me why anything. Mother. You won't tell me why you quit your job. You won't tell me why I have to stop seeing a perfectly marvelous man who has always Mother. been absolutely lovely to me Come just down. because Luke says so. I suppose I'm supposed to take it as gospel just because Luke has done such a whiz-bang job of running his own life. Don't you talk about Luke like that. Mother, will you please? Please, just try to understand. Understand what? Listen to me. Listen to me for a minute. I am listening to you. You're not saying anything. I cannot do this, Laura. I have to work here. Mother, come on. Calm down. I know who you are. You're the woman from the auction. You're the woman that Luke locked in that mummy case. Mom, that was a mistake. That just, that just happened by accident. I can't deal with this. I cannot deal with any of this. Thank you.